Good evening everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. I just learned today that if you hit the gear button on this video, if you're watching the replay, you can hit the gear button on this video, double the speed of the break, and you can watch this break in half the time. What? Man, learning new, when did they add this feature? Uh, 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer, four box break number nine, random country break number nine. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. If you're watching live, you're gonna have to watch this in normal time. So this will take about 20, 30 minutes. If you're watching a double speed, half that time. Amazing. Here are your countries right here with the, with the, uh, I don't like the spacing on this. There you go, with the combos right here. All right. And break number nine. Let's randomize each list. Six and a four, 10 times. You might want to double speed this part. Six and a four. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, after ten times, Jordan with the last ball mojo on top and a couple Jason Lawners on the bottom. Six and a four, ten times for the countries. One. World Cup's getting closer and closer, folks. I wish I could double time life and get to the World Cup. Three, four, we don't have that feature yet. Five, six, seven. What did I say? Seven? Oh, ten times? Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Too many times. All right, ten times. Portugal down to Mexico. All right, so Jordan with Portugal, Peter with Argentina, Denmark and Egypt for Andrew K, EJ with Uruguay, Scott Cooper got Serbia, Senegal and Russia, Jason with Poland, Peru, Ryan Redmond, Nigeria, Scott Cooper has got a lot of spots here. He's got Costa Rica, Australia, Belgium, England, Austria, Chile, Colombia, uh, Croatia and Germany. David Kiss with Italy, Iran, EJ with Japan, Korea, Jordan Hope, Iceland, Jason Long with the United States. Can't believe we're not in the World Cup. Daniel Patera, Netherlands, Morocco, France for Jordan Hope, Brazil for Carlos Coop. You got Norway, Saudi Arabia, and Spain. Sweden for Ryan Redmond. Jason Lonnie, you have the rest. Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia, and Mexico. And let's sort by column B. Any trades? I don't see any trade offers in the chat right now. And here are the last four. So break nine was the last four box of the case that we popped open. We have two more cases of this. So we have a lot more breaks of this, folks. So check back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for more. Jordan wants to trade Iceland and France for Spain. I don't know if Coop is in the room right now, Jordan, but we'll give it a couple more seconds. Maybe he's here. And, and Andrew K actually has Denmark, Egypt for trade. We'll give another uh, 10 seconds or so. See if there's any trade responses or trade offers or anything like that. Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, we'll close up the trade window. Let's print this guy out. And let's rip. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Now, remember, I think I've mentioned this pretty much every time, but not every box has an autograph inside. Sometimes, uh, if there's no auto, it'll be replaced with a low-numbered card, maybe like out of 20 or less or something like that. Which makes, uh, which makes, I guess, both valuable. So it makes the autographs a little more short printed, a little more valuable, and makes those low numbered cards a little more desirable as well. All right. And there you go. Uh, Jordan is saying that there's a church with an abbreviation, abbreviation of TWC, and every time you drive by, you think 
from work, you'd think trade window closed. Oh, man. House of God open for the Lord, but trade window definitely closed. No trading in that church. Jordan Hope, right? You go in there and be like, no trades here. All right, fair enough. That's what, that's what they're about. And Eric Jennings, were you just saying that you, you sold the Thomas Mueller for how much? Thomas Mueller from Germany. Was it Eric? Someone was saying that they sold. I remember that before I started to break. Someone said they sold a, a just a parallel for like a zillion dollars. Right, Rory. Trade, trading confessions for free. And trade window closed. Oh, he had a gold parallel. So it was EJ. So Eric Jennings had a gold parallel for, of Tomas Muller, and he sold it for over 300 bucks. Yeah, a lot of times those parallels, especially with the right player, can get more than some autos in Prism World Cup. And as we get closer and closer to World Cup action, I think you'll start to see values of this stuff creep up a little bit higher and higher. And definitely... Definitely pretty high when uh, when the tournament actually starts and we start seeing the names of the guys on these trading cards actually start playing some football, some footy, soccer. I'm sure if you got parallels of jersey numbers too, that'll be pretty big. Cristiano Ronaldo, like. Parallel, seven out of whatever for CR7 would be pretty huge, I would think. All right, I think that might be a nice parallel already. Good luck, everybody. We got Leroy Sané for Germany, four out of 65. That'll go to Scott Cooper. You never know. Remember uh, last World Cup? You never know. Guys like James Rodriguez didn't really burst out onto the international scene until he was scoring some pretty amazing goals um, during the World Cup. So a lot like a, like a hot rookie or something like that, you know, there could be some of these random guys that turn out to be pretty huge in the hobby just for that, just for the summer, just for a month of World Cup action. So keep an eye on that. There's Mikhail Lustig for Sweden. Sweden, that goes to Ryan Redman out of 199. The Sané for Germany, that goes to Ku, 4 out of 65. We were just talking about Thomas Müller. And so these ones, I'm just kind of, these will ship, but I'm just breezing by it because they are not numbered. There's a Varu Morata, and the autograph is, is that an auto? It is. Sebastian Larsson for Sweden. That goes to Ryan Redmond. Nice. Nice. Robert Rohr said, Joe, you had a break in soccer. I had France. Did you send out the cards? No, I didn't send out the cards. I don't do anything. I don't I don't ship any of the stuff, Robert. I'm sure it went out though. If you got a we usually have tracking numbers automatically sent to you. Poor Mohammed Salah. Actually, I have not had the heart to look up the news on whether he'll be able to play or not, but he was on he's on my club, Liverpool. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a disappointing heartbreaking game for so many reasons there's nice refractor messy yeah sorry robert i'm i am absolutely worthless on shipping questions cuz i don't have anything to do with the shipping team there's argentina peter ang with that one nice that messy probably might get your spot back actually but poor mohammed sala like 
goes down with a bad shoulder injury in like the first 25 minutes of the match, first half hour of the match, doesn't come back. I think had dislocated his shoulder or something crazy like that on a questionable takedown by Sergio Ramos. And uh, he may miss the World Cup. Andrew K, you have Egypt. I can keep... Thanks, Andrew K. I'll keep this in, in, and keep it by my pillow and cry every night. Because if Mohamed Salah was healthy for that... Uh, if he was healthy, I, I, I think the... I think Liverpool had a... I mean, it was going to be tough anyway, but I think they had a decent shot of winning the, that Champions League final. So that is... Uh, it was sad times, though. And then the then the Liverpool keeper and the keeper situation for Liverpool was has been questionable all season. But Loris Karius was, was doing a decent job, better than decent job, as a goalkeeper the last month or so. But I think everybody in their hearts, in the back of their hearts, had a... Uh, just was, was not entirely 100% confident in the keeper, and then at the worst possible time. All right, Andrew Kane, at the worst possible time, he has two, uh, what the English call two howlers, two just horrible plays. Now the first, the first mistake, Liverpool answered back quickly. Sadio Mane came back and, and, and scored the equalizer, but then once that once you know that second one happens, and then the Gareth Bale bicycle kick, which was amazing, and then that leads the way to the third one. Which goal was worse? The first one for sure, Eric Jennings. The first goal was worse, where he rolls the ball out, and then Kareem Benzema, you know, attacks the ball and, and plugs it right in. Because I think that was was Carries' undoing mentally. You know what I mean? Now he's shook. He got shook. Now he's shook. So now he's just like, oh crap, don't make another mistake, don't make another mistake. This is the biggest game of your life, this is the biggest game of your life. He's in his head, he's screwed for the rest of the match. No Mohamed Salah, they're not coming. I mean, that offense can't. It was going to be hard enough for full strength Liverpool for to beat Real Madrid. But that first mistake and Salah going out, that's it. That, the, the, that's all she wrote. And then you bring a player like Gareth Bale off the bench. Like Real Madrid can afford to bring Gareth Bale off the bench. Liverpool doesn't have that kind of depth. So there you have it. Jordan Hope saying that the that Egypt's FA, their football association, president saying that Salah will play at the World Cup. Interesting. I wonder if he'll be 100%. Oh, oh, all right, Robert. So the packages were sent out. Excellent. Good. There's uh, Aloui for Morocco, 103 out of 149. Daniel Patera with that one. I don't think the Moroccans have a chance. There's Willian for Brazil. These three colored ones, I've been breezing by those because they're also not numbered. But they will ship out. It's only the base cars, the commons, that don't ship out. Yeah, Eric Jennings wondering if, uh, if Gareth Bale will go back to uh, the Premier League. Well, I mean, in his post-game, his post-match interview... He said he wants to play every day, and I don't think that's going to, or every, not every day, every match, and I don't think that's going to happen at Real Madrid. But the issue is, is that A, I think Real Madrid's going to ask for like 200 million pounds. There's Lee Kyun Ho, 68 out of 199. So I don't know if anybody's going to pay 200 million pounds to get Gareth Bale. And he's got a little, uh, some, some injury issues here and there that I think would make people think twice about paying 200 million pounds to just to transfer him over and then he's got his wages that they have to pay too. And there's another autograph. 
Robert Yarny for Croatia. Could be a pretty tough team, Coop. Coop with Croatia. It could be a tough team in the World Cup. So there's more Messi. Let's see if we can. Uh, so there's the, the we had the Prism version of that too, which could have some pretty good value, I think. Uh, there's Edison Cavani there too. All right. Um, oh, Robert Lewandowski might want out of Bayern Munich as well. That's interesting. He's he's a little longer in the tooth too, isn't he? Could be a pretty interesting summer window, summer transfer window, because a lot of it will be put on pause because of the World Cup. And then there's always, there's, I feel like every World Cup cycle, there's always like some player, it was like Hamas Rodriguez four years ago, where some player like just balls out in the World Cup. And then everyone's like, oh, I want that guy. You know, like, let's go after that guy. Let's try to get him on our club. Jordan Hope saying that the Capitals, the Washington Capitals, are still still up 3-2 with 3.30 to go. Oh, I should have put on the hockey game. I have to do that before this break. I did hear about the Neymar talk, which is kind of weird. He's the one that wanted to go to Paris Saint-Germain, and now he's like, oh, now I don't want to be in PSG anymore. Is he going to be healthy for the World Cup? I know he missed Champions League stuff because of that. Oh, what up, TJ? Oh, okay, CJ is locked in. All right, I got you. I got you. Yeah, tier one baseball should be happening in about, oh, I don't know, as soon as this break is over, basically another 10, 15 minutes. And then after that will be um, TriStar Mini Helmets after the tier one baseball. And after that, I don't see, I don't know if how many orders are coming in right now, but we'll see. We'll see what orders, orders other orders come in. We might be able to do that. Um, might be able to do that. Uh, the cup hockey tonight. I know a lot of people were talking about that. The spot random is already sold out, so we're just for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So we're just waiting for um, that break itself to sell out. Right? Yeah. Neymar might want to go to Real Madrid. Now, if, if Real Madrid could sell. If they could sell Gareth Bale, I'm sure they could put that money to Neymar. For Iceland, there's Traus Traustasen. I think I nailed it. Traustasen. There's a Cardi for Argentina out of 199. There you go. Could have played for either Italy or Argentina. Belgium is the hit pick to uh, to win the World Cup. Possibly France as well. Spain are, Spain are always already just in on the action. Jason in the house. What up, Jason? And there's Yom Kin Hood, 62 out of 125. Looks like Holtby for the Caps just made a ridiculous save. Is is Gerard PK? Is he is he still married to Shakira? Out of 125. I didn't, Jason. I did not see the new SI. What's up? And another autograph. 
Ah, Mario Goetze. Signature moments for Germany. That goes to Coop. It's a nice autograph. Nice. If everyone remembers that 2014 World Cup final four years ago. That was quite a uh, quite a team. At a 125, Christian Gamboa. Oh yeah, so yeah, if we're since the U.S. is not in it, Jason Cordero saying that maybe we should maybe Sports Illustrated and, and the United States should go with Mexico. L3. Should we go with L3? Jason, support North America. David Ospina, 26 out of 99 for Colombia. We may have to. They do have that curse, right? They can. They always lose like their fifth match or something like that, fourth or fifth match. There's David Ospina for Colombia out of 99. And the rest here. There's Victor Moses for Nigeria, 36 out of 40. And that'll go to Ryan Redmond with the Nigeria-Panama combo. One more box to go, folks. All right, nice Gotze. And the last box. That's what I hear too, Jason. The uh, Team Mexico. Supposed to have a pretty strong team. I think I forget who's in their group. I should have had my my group cheat sheet up. It's in my suggested breaks list somewhere. Yeah, you and me both, Todd. I wish I put some pennies on the nights at the beginning of the season as well. Looks like nobody on the Capitals put any pennies on the Golden Knights. Cause it seems like they're. Uh, <laughs> it seems like they want to win. So no funny, no funny business there. Cristiano Ronaldo to the ML to MLS. Where would he go? Maybe. Maybe to the Galaxy for the Nuevo Gal Galacticos. Like in old Real Madrid, like the old Galacticos teams of the old Real Madrid teams. He can just come to the LA Galaxy, Nuevo Galacticos. Con Ibrahimovic, that'd be pretty fantastic. Now, Christian, you think you think Cristiano Ronaldo would go to Seattle, Jordan Hope? Cristiano Ronaldo is either going to go somewhere in New York, Miami, or L.A. <laughs> it's vacation for him, basically. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be vacay for him. That's what he'll want. He'll go to Miami. That's probably where he'll go. It's on the East Coast. Easy to go back home. You know? I think Beckham owns half part of that club, right? Look at this. Oh, Jason putting some money on the Cavs for the series or for game one. All right, there's Jose Jimenez peeking out there. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Cristiano Ronaldo in the United States. That'd be pretty crazy. 48 out of 149. Ahmed Abdelmonem Fateh. Probably butcher that. Sorry, Egyptian listeners, Egyptian viewers. Egypt, if 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 Mohamed Salah is is healthy, they've got a shot getting out of their getting out of their group. There's Sergio Ramos, questionable move, and is that Harry Kane autograph? It is. Now, this this is the striker for England 
that will be the key to England's success as well. Scott Cooper. Coop with Harry Kane and England. Well, I'm yeah, I mean, I guess if, if this is any year where you don't doubt LeBron, I guess it's this year. But come on, <laughs> Jason. Yeah, I know the Warriors are like minus 1,000 on the... Uh, on the money line for for a series win but you really think I mean there's value I mean I guess you could consider that there being a little bit of value but there's more Mohamed Salah insert for Egypt Andrew K um, I actually think I actually think um, the Golden State Warriors are a value at minus a thousand. I think it should be higher. <laughs> There's uh, David Ospina again for Colombia. That goes to Coop out of one ninety nine. There you go, Scott. Yeah, but with with the Golden Knights though, Jason, with the Golden Knights, they actually have like decent players. <laughs> All right. I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. There's a nice refractor there. And there you have it. No randomizers to do. Nothing. Nice break. Prism World Cup in the books. There's more in the store. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for more soccer, more soccer talk, especially as we get closer to the World Cup. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.